So one thing that uh, you need to keep in mind when people are doing what it is that they do is that they're usually doing it for a reason. I mean, there are some people out there who do what they do and do it for no reason. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, people who produce content are doing it because they want to get information out there. And I would say 99.999999% of the time, they figured out how to pay their bills, either with the content or with something else. So I've been lucky enough to be a content producer who can, you know, make a living. I've carved out a career in creating content as well as other things, helping businesses, growing services, engaging in social media, um, you know, supporting content producers, I, I think is something we all would want to do. And I think we do it anyway. Whether we watch television and watch the commercials in, in, you know, as they play back on the screen, or if we're watching a commercial on a, a video that we're watching on a mobile device that is t a television show, uh, whether we're renting a movie, watching a movie in a the theater, watching a movie at home, paying some kind of a content service to deliver content to us. Uh, and, and certainly, I know a lot of people have done that. Uh, I've had certain subscription services in the past as well. Uh, so we, uh, you know, as content producers need your help and it isn't just, well, I watch and there, 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 that's enough. It, it isn't. And I'm not the only one who would say this. Um, you know, the, Hollywood is in a weird position right now, uh, where they're trying to figure out the next place where they're going to go, right? With digital distribution. And I think supporting those shows in every way possible, if you like those shows, uh, you need to be thinking that direction. But there's a lot of independent content out there. So my question to you is, where do you find that independent content? Is it just YouTube? Uh, do you sign up for other subscription services that aren't the big boys? Uh, are you someone who produces content on your own? Uh, are you someone who just doesn't care, really? In which point, uh, or at which point I would ask you, why are you even watching this video? Uh, so... One uh, one group ended up figuring out how to uh, support independent creators while watching original television content, uh, basically paying the content providers uh, based on the subscription services that were coming in. Uh, we ended up, uh, well, of course, the website, it's jts.tv. Uh, these guys had joined Nomi's last week and ended up doing like a, a I think, $20 for life subscription uh, for registered Nomi's, which was kind of nice. Um, you could join the, the service as well, uh, jts.tv. But I think the bottom line for me, you know, beyond the specials, beyond the content, is just understanding that, you know, the only reason why people do this is because uh, they're, for one reason, not the only reason, there are reasons people do this, sharing information and potentially even paying the bills. Uh, and so when they ask you to interact with them, that's usually pretty legit. Uh, you know, asking to leave a comment, to like, to share, to plus one, uh, to engage, uh, you know, to look, to click. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an important part of the puzzle, really. And, and I, I've seen so many people take content providers for granted. Um, you know, I have uh, a set of DVDs up on my shelf. The only Family Guy DVDs that I've ever purchased were purchased after Family Guy was canceled. It was before Fox had picked it up again, based largely on the amount of DVD sales that came in. Uh, I loved The Family Guy, and I, I still like it. I don't watch it as frequently as I used to, but I supported them uh, and you know, in, in every way that I possibly could when I could. So I'm very happy to say that because I purchased those DVDs, Fox gave Family Guy a second chance, and, and look at where it went. Um, you know, I was very happy to be a part of that as someone who supports other content producers, whether they're, you know, on television, movies, radio, internet, doesn't really matter. Uh, I would just ask you to be cognizant of that in this equation. There are people who produce content, they need people like you to support them. And, and sometimes that's more than just watching the video. It's, it's actually interacting or let me put it this way. The future of it is interacting. It's not just being passive, sitting back and letting it happen. It's it's doing something. It's engaging. I mean, that what else separates this video from something that you would have watched on television? And if you've watched this on television, how do I know? I have no idea. I have no idea even if you've watched it on a mobile device. There's so few ways that I can connect with you unless you make it clear that you're connecting with me. I just assume I'm, I'm talking to one person out there. I would hope it would be a little more than one person, but all content producers have to go through this. So do what you can to support your favorite content producers because at some point in the future, they may no longer be giving the content that you like.